The two Korea's liaison office is now ready. The contact point should have began operation last month, but due to concerns from Washington that it may be a step too far, the opening was delayed, as the facility will enable the two sites to get in touch face-to-face -to -face virtually any time. It's looked to play a big role in stabilizing inter-Korean relations and boosting exchanges. Park Hee-jun tells us more. A 24-hour round-the-clock communication channel. For the first time in the two Korea's history, a full-time liaison office has been launched to enhance inter-Korean exchanges. The liaison office has opened a new chapter in our history. It's a symbol of peace created by the two Koreas. It was achieved by the two Koreas' efforts. We must continue to implement the Panmunjom Declaration, the goal of the people. The facility will be supervised by the Vice Minister of South Korea's Unification Ministry, Chun hae -sung, and his North Korean counterpart, Chun jong soo Around 20 officers from each side will reside at the office, working 9-to-5 shifts during the week, as well as overnight shifts and weekend duty. A regular meeting will be held at least once a week to discuss urgent issues relevant to the two Koreas, including joint economic projects. The office will also support cooperation between civilians and enhance information exchanges for business people. But more importantly, it can send messages directly to South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Then the reason why we have one is, diplomatically speaking, is actually a step before having a, an embassy or like a formal representative office in both capitals. So in that sense, it signifies permanence of the relations, improved relations between the two Koreas. So it's a very symbolic in nature, but at the same time, uh, it, show, it shows that politically, uh, both countries will have to take into account uh, the inter-Korean relations when it comes to formulating their external policies from now on. And according to the Unification Ministry, depending on the level of improvement in relations, South and North Korea could consider setting up offices in each other's capitals. Setting up a liaison office was one of the agreements reached at the April 27 inter-Korean summit. It will be a significant step in advancing inter-Korean relations and establishing peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.